What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alex Costa. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button below to become part of the YouTube family. Now, I know a lot of you guys are just starting to build out your wardrobe and I'm here to make sure that you do it right because when I did it, I completely messed that up. What I did is I bought a bunch of trendy pieces at the time and they were super cool, but then like six, seven, eight months later, I didn't have anything to wear because trends come and go, they phase out. And what you actually should be doing is building your wardrobe from basic pieces. Things that never go out of style. This will give you the base, the foundation you need to start your outfits and save money in the long run. So I put together a list of 10 pieces that I own that I think you should as well because they will allow you to build multiple different outfits, mixing and matching all of these clothing items. The first thing every guy needs is a good pair of black jeans, okay? And let me show you a little something. These, these are faded, you can see it. It's a style, it's supposed to be faded. It's not because I washed them, they're just faded. That's how they came. These are not, these are solid black, very dark black. The faded, you don't need. These, you do. It just gives you so much room to play because you can dress them up or dress them down and the faded jeans are so much harder to dress up if that's even possible at all. So get yourself something like these here, okay? So these are from Club Monaco, I love them, I've had them for a while, they're very durable, very comfortable and they fit me really well which is the most important thing. They fit me so well that I decided to get a different wash in the same exact style of jeans. You can get these but I'm, I'm telling you, you should start with the black because with this it just gives you the base to start building your outfits much more than something like this here. By the way, all of these items that I mentioned in today's video are gonna be listed in the description below as well as my Instagram, Snapchat, everything you need. So make sure you go check it out while you're watching the video or after. The next item that I wanna to talk to you guys about, <laughs> I mean, this is essential. Solid, basic, t-shirts. You guys need a bunch of them. Basic solid t-shirts are very, very important for your wardrobe. And you don't want to get anything with any details like a pocket or a rolled sleeve or anything like that. Just because you want to start with the basics, guys. Let's start with those. The important thing is that those solid basic t-shirts are going to work with shorts, with jeans, and even a nice blazer if you want to dress it up. So versatility is what you're looking for at first when you're building your wardrobe. But then after that, of course, you can start doing whatever you want. You can, you know, pick t-shirts with different prints or or collar details. Since you are wearing basic t-shirts, then you can always just spice things up by wearing accessories. Okay, so these are the next essential items. Today's video is actually sponsored by Zorada who makes amazing accessories. They make bracelets, they make necklaces, and they will help you take a plain basic outfit to the next level. I, for one, am a huge fan of accessorizing. I think it makes every outfit so much cooler, and then it lets you express yourself in a cool way. I think you guys know me, and every time you see me, you can be sure that I'm always gonna have something on my wrists, or on my neck, or both. So if you check out Zorada, you see that they have really dope pieces, but also it's affordable. I've seen so many expensive accessories out there, and a lot of them don't deserve the price tag. These are actually worth the price. I wanted to show you guys a few pieces that I personally really liked. This is their belt line bracelet. You can see the level of detail here. There's this really cool matte black necklace as well with the Zorada tag. And I also really liked this silver lion bangle here. It's a little bit more discreet, which has been more of my vibe lately, honestly. And if you want 15% off your entire order, I got you guys. Just use the code COSTA15 on their website and you get 15% off your whole entire order. Every single item. So go check them out. I think it's definitely worth it. Another item that's been an essential of mine, especially lately because it's been so hot here in LA, are these knit t-shirts. And the reason why I like these, these are from Zara, they're very affordable. The reason why I like these is because when I don't want to wear a button-up uh, shirt and a tie but I want to dress up, I'm just gonna wear one of these and then throw a blazer over them and that's it. You're dressed up. This is the perfect replacement and they're extremely comfortable and very affordable as well. Like I said, from Zara, I think I paid less than $20 for these. They don't last very long, they start kind of like distressing a little bit after a while. 
But for less than 20 bucks, I mean, you can just buy a new one every like six to eight months if you wear them a lot and you're good. Next up, we have some solid sweaters. This is a great way to add some texture to your outfit. And I think it really elevates the way that you dress. They're also perfect for fall, perfect for winter. And then they're a little bit more formal, right? So I think it just, it just looks a little bit dressier, a little bit more grown up and mature. And you can layer them under a coat or a blazer like I did here for this lookbook video, or you can wear the sweater on its own and it still looks really good like this outfit here that I pieced with my Club Monaco jeans. With these sweaters though, I'd recommend investing in something a little bit more durable, okay? You don't wanna get like cheap, cheap sweaters. These two are from J. Crew. They're 100% cashmere, so they're as soft as it gets. Now let's talk about shoes. And I could sit here and talk about shoes all day. I love shoes, I love sneakers, I have a lot of them. But there's a specific type of shoe that I wanna to talk to you guys about. White sneakers. You need these, especially for the summer. Now, when I first started building my wardrobe, I made the mistake of getting these right here as my first pair of white sneakers. And you might be asking yourself, Alex, what are you saying? Those are awesome. And yes, I love these guys. They're amazing. They're super comfortable, super durable. They look great. But the one bad thing about this is that they're not very versatile for white sneakers, okay? Because they have this, um, this gray stripe here, this gray sole. So I can't really wear them with all of my outfits. Believe it or not, this beater here <laughs> is the most versatile pair of sneakers that I own. Now, they're completely destroyed because I wore them to Ultra, I wore them to Coachella. So when you wear white shoes to uh, music festivals, let me tell you, they get destroyed. So yeah, I'm gonna be buying new pairs of these. I also have the Stan Smith. So these are also really versatile. You know, you do have the, the green back here though, so sometimes it doesn't work. And these are the prime knit version, so they get really, really dirty quickly. And I pretty much, honestly, I basically have to clean these every time I wear them. And then obviously you have the white running sneakers that you could get as well. These are from Adidas, these are the Ultra Boost. I love these, but they're not versatile. They're running sneakers. So after all that, the funny thing is, these beaters here are the most versatile pair of white sneakers I own. These are from Top Man, $120 I think, but I bought them on sale for half off. So that's why I wore them to a music festival because they were fairly cheap and I'm gonna be buying new ones very, very soon. Next up guys, denim jackets. And I have this black one here from Rhythm and I also have a different one from All Saints which, let me be honest with you guys, I'm extremely mad about it because I went to Brazil last month and I forgot it in my hotel room. And the good news is they found it, they shipped it back to me so I should have it in a week or two. But yeah, I don't know why I did that. Always check your hotel room closets before you leave the hotel. Uh, anyway, the reason why I'm mad is because I wear that thing a lot because it's great here in LA. You can wear it in summer nights and then winter days. It's very versatile. And if you do wanna get the black one first, I would recommend uh, definitely going for it. So, I mean, it, it really depends on your closet, right? I think like the blue wash is really cool as well. So I would go with something a little bit more basic like this one or mine from All Saints. Next up, a button down shirt. Now, you can get a navy one, a black one, but I would say get those after you get the white button down shirt because this is so versatile. You can literally wear this to a bar to go see your friends or you can wear it to a wedding, right? If you're going to a bar, you can rock this pull the, the sleeves up and then rock some accessories, right? You can go to Zarata and check out some of the accessories. Now, if you wanna go to a wedding, then you put this on, a tie and a blazer or just a blazer, right? So it's super, super versatile. And this one is from Zara, very affordable. The material is actually quite nice and I've worn this a lot. Now, I know this isn't a basic item, but I wanted to include it in here anyway, just because I get so much use out of this thing. And I'm talking about a leather jacket and you guys know how much i love this thing i made a whole video about this jacket specifically the truth is it's just incredibly versatile you can pair it with a t-shirt or a sweatshirt underneath or you can even dress it up with the white shirt i just showed you so basically in this outfit here i have the black jeans the white shirt and the leather jacket that we talked about in this video all basics but when you piece them all together they look pretty awesome. One thing that always looks good with a leather jacket is a bracelet. It makes it even edgier, which is exactly what we're going for if you're rocking leather. If you wanna watch the whole video on how to style a leather jacket, I'll have it linked in the description below for you guys. Next up, I would say a tailored suit because every guy looks good in a tailored suit. But if you're not there yet because we're just starting to build our wardrobes, then I would say get a nice blazer like this one here. I got super lucky with this. I didn't even have to tailor this. This fit me 
from the rack. Like I got super lucky. It's from Zara, it's affordable, so it was really cheap overall because I didn't have to tailor it. I would say get a navy one, a gray one, or a black one, or all of them. They're very versatile, you can mix and match with different shirts underneath, different pants, different shoes, and it elevates the way you dress. You know, you can wear them to a wedding, you can wear them to a bar, or you can wear them if it's just kind of cool outside and kind of cold and you want to wear something to keep you warmer. And of course, make sure you're accessorizing with Zorada and use the code CASA15 on their website for 15% off your entire order. Also, follow me on Instagram at Alex Costa. I just did a giveaway for a bunch of hair products. I picked three winners, so congratulations to you guys who won. And then subscribe here to my YouTube channel because I have a bunch of new videos coming out. I wanna make sure that you're part of our YouTube family. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace. And for you guys who noticed, yes, I do have a new haircut with highlights. And yes, the new video about this is coming out very, very soon. So make sure you're subscribed.